The Fremantle Dockers have ventured into enemy waters, taking a dip in Cario Bay. Geelong is a city where the Dockers didn't want to be, but now they've arrived, they're ready for whatever Cats fans throw at them. I think they relish it. I think they expect it. And our players have got to be realistic and, you know, it's a Geelong crowd tomorrow, so it's going to be loud, it's going to be noisy, and it's just the way that our players um, channel that noise. So if, it, if they think it's negative, it's going to work against them, but uh, we think we've spoken about that during the week as well. Despite being named as an emergency, key defender Luke McFarlane is being given every chance to play. He's missed the last eight weeks with a calf injury. He either plays or he doesn't. It doesn't matter whether he's named an emergency or in the side as far as we're concerned. Back in Melbourne, the Pies hit the track ahead of tomorrow night's elimination final against Port Adelaide. All eyes were on Quinton Lynch and Nathan Brown who needed to prove their fitness. Um, you know, they've got to get through this session today, but we're uh, very hopeful they'll, they'll both get through. Um, at the moment, it's, a, it's kind of like a squad of 25, so um, our, our side is not, is not finalised. Veteran Alan Didak has kept his spot while Luke Ball and Harry O'Brien come back into the Pies team. The power, meantime, headed east this afternoon after a final run at Albert and Oval. And after an incredible year under new coach Ken Hinckley, they're embracing September. They've got a little bit of um, no risk about them. You know, to be honest, they're, they're, they're feeling uh, like they're, they've wanted to get to here and they've really embraced the opportunity to be here. And, uh, you know, I, I can tell they're excited by it, which, which is natural. They've been through a lot, Port fans. Today, they were out in force. Um, good luck and hit them hard. We've bet them before, so you can do it again. At last, the finals are here. Matt Thompson, afl.com.au.